Welcome back. My name is Ross Reichdahl, uh, Site Assessment uh, Technology Mentor for Solar Hot Water for the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. This video is uh, a companion to the, the rest of the site assessment training through the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. Uh, as a certified site assessor, uh, you're going to be using this program, Red Screen, uh, in order to model the uh, energy uh, output by your solar water heater. And I'll just spend the first couple of minutes scrolling through to show you the standard inputs that we put in. We're going to work our way uh, to this example site where I've, I've entered all this data in. And I just wanted to make sure that you have it up front so in case you're looking for it, uh, you don't know where we, uh, where we ended up. Uh, you have it all up front here. And uh, as a bit of an introduction to, to Red Screen, uh, you should find some more information at their uh, website, Red Screen International. Um, this was developed uh, in Canada, uh, and there's a number of tools both on the website and in the program to help you navigate it. And uh, this video that I'm doing now is specifically for solar hot water and uh, we, we focus on uh, Wisconsin. Uh, this slide being some prices uh, that we've seen per square foot in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, this is for, uh, for systems that were co-funded by a Wisconsin program. Focus on energy. So we're going to use this cost data and come up with uh, some prices per square foot of collector. These are the current guidelines. And there's my contact information. Uh, if you don't find what you're looking for in this video, uh, please let me know. Um, contact me with me with any questions that you have. The best form of feedback is a question. Uh, hoping to do this video uh, again in the future um, and some companion videos. Um, so contact me about the content and about the, the technology if you have any questions as you're um, assessing sites in the field. Zara is the MREA Site Assessment Coordinator and you can contact her uh, with any procedural questions uh, as you're going through the certification process um, or if you're in need of recertification, Zara is the person to talk to. And then I'll just get right into it. I am running um, a program called Parallels Desktop. Um, which allows me to go from a Macintosh computer and open up a, a fully functional version of Windows. Um, it's a fully functional version of Windows 2000, but um, you do have to have a Windows operating system in order to run uh, Red Screen. Um, you can't use the uh, Mac Excel. Uh, so when you see me changing from one environment to the other, uh, it's the seamless program called Parallels uh, is what I'm using. Well, let's get started on the start page and I'll jump to uh, what you would get uh, when you just start up Red Screen uh, after downloading it and, and successfully uh, opening your first file. Once you've successfully installed Red Screen and uh, you have it all set up on your computer, and you actually you manage to open the file, you're going to see um, a default here. Uh, energy efficiency measures is the project type. Red Screen will evaluate um, a lot of different energy projects. Uh, we're going to look at not an energy efficiency project, but we're going to zoom in here for you. And we're looking at a heating project. The technology will be the next input that we change to solar water heater. And our analysis type 
is going to change um, a number of things on the worksheet. Uh, right now, we've got uh, a file with three tabs, three Excel worksheets. Start down here in the lower left corner, Energy Model, and Tools. Now when we switch this analysis type to Method 2, we will see more tabs down here. Energy Model is still there. We still have the Start page. We still have the Tools page. But we also have all these other tabs where we can input more data. This is what we want to use for the Site Assessment Program. Method 2. If we're on Method 1, we're only going to see three tabs at the bottom. And that's not enough for me. Method 2. The heating value reference we're going to leave as higher heating value. And whenever you click one of these check boxes in red screen, that will give you more input options. Show settings. We want English, US dollars as our currency. That's already in there, correct? And the units. We're going to change this to imperial units instead of metric units. So we're looking at feet instead of meters. We're looking at gallons instead of liters. This will not change the inputs. So every time Red Screen asks you to specify how hot does the water need to be, you're going to need to change the unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit you're going to have to change the units of your collector dimension so you can see that you have 40 square feet of collector or 80 square feet of collector. That's explained in the red screen help menu. Anytime you highlight a box here, you can come up to this red screen help menu up at the top. And you'll see up at the top there's a Microsoft Excel help. There's also a red screen help. And that gives you an explanation of the units, metric or imperial. I won't go through that in detail, but anytime you have a question about a field in Red Screen, you can use this Red Screen help menu uh, to look at what's the difference between um, one input or the other. Where do I get this number that they want me to input? We're also going to look at the uh, climate data for our region locally, and I'm in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, the default is Ottawa, Canada, and uh, since this software was made in Canada, that's, uh, that's the default. We're going to have to change this uh, to the United States. And I'm in Wisconsin. So even within Wisconsin, I have a few different options depending on where I'm located. If you're halfway between, say, um, Green Bay and Wausau, um, you're going to have to uh, pick which one better represents your climate. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the site that you're looking at has cloudy mornings and it takes a while for the fog to, to burn off. And maybe there's similar conditions in, in Green Bay, so that's a better representation. Or maybe um, maybe Wausau is more similar to the site that you're looking at. Um, it's not going to make a huge difference, but you can see right on this page uh, what numbers Red Screen is using. So they give you a, a relative humidity, for instance, where if you have cloudy mornings, um, you know, the relative humidity will, will tell you something about that fog. Um, daily, daily solar radiation is what we are really interested in. And I'll talk about this input uh, when we look at the shading analysis. Um, it breaks out the daily solar radiation by month, January, February, all the way to December, just like the Pathfinder does. So uh, we can use this to evaluate shading. Um, what it doesn't have is an hour by hour, so we're not able to assess the solar radiation in the mornings versus the solar radiation in the afternoon.